There has been endless debate, especially in South Africa, about whether the 2010 World Cup will in fact leave behind a positive legacy for the country. Well, for Project Gogo, the benefits of the World Cup can't be disputed. The Gogo Trust officially started in 2006 when I asked my grand to knit me a beanie. Um, but it's evolved quite dramatically since then. We got grannies to come into communities and start training unemployed ladies how to knit. And then we now buy those knitted items from the ladies. We started off with six ladies. Um, and now we are 593 ladies in our communities. Obviously with the World Cup coming this year, it was a, a, a no-brainer to, to start knitting World Cup beanies and scarves. I knew it was winter in South Africa over a year ago during the World Cup. My grand designed all 32 nations beanies and since March we've been in production making beanies and scarves. For most of these women, unemployment is a reality and Project Gogo is a way to make ends meet in a time where so many African families are supported by grandparents. Never did they expect to see the kind of rewards that the 2010 FIFA World Cup brought. It was something very, very good for the old ladies because there was something, the bread on the table. This job has done a lot for us. And there came the 2010. Oh, that one, it was a big one because everybody wanted to do more, 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 more. We've now produced 23,000 items, uh, scarves and beanies. Um, our ladies have received over 1.37 million rand back into the communities. And the amazing thing about it is that they earned it. It's not a charity. Our hands have done a lot for our family. And we've done a lot for our homes with this money that we've got from this project. Now I'm on my table there's always food. When we are knitting, there's no stress. We concentrate on what we are knitting. And it gives us money. I bought many things. I bought school books for my grandson who is in grade 11. Uh, I only thank God for giving me this strength I never had. I was never as happy and stronger as I am now. The World Cup is over, and while most of the country is suffering from post-World Cup depression, the women from Project Gogo are making plans to keep their World Cup profit going strong. There's lots of corporates that are coming to us. So we will make corporate beanies that have the corporate colors on, we'll put their branding on it, and they know that this beanie that they give to their clients, that it's got value and it's created a job. We're eager to do something all the time. We do not want to fold our hands and just to look around. No, we still have strength and energy to do something. We are still doing it and I think we will continue doing this. I think the World Cup has given South Africans the platform they need to succeed and the ability to believe that anything really is possible. I mean, an exceedingly successful FIFA World Cup hosted in Africa who would have thought?